On September 19, 1777, the Battle of Saratoga, a victory for the American rebels, was not only a turning point in the revolution, but also transformed the diplomatic landscape. A Moment in Time with Dan Roberts. In the summer of 1777, British forces led by General John Burgoyne marched southward from Quebec along the Hudson River seeking to capture Albany, New York, seize control of the Hudson River, and thereby cut New England off from the south. It was a bold move. Burgoyne's plan, however, failed due to supply coordination and communication problems. Unable to secure supplies from the countryside, he had to haul all his provisions, arms, and ammunition with him. This meant slow going and gave the Americans time to lay a trap on the Bemis Plateau north of Albany. Burgoyne also did not receive promised help from British armies in and around New York. He was on his own when, on September 19th, he encountered a comparable American force, about 6,000 men, under General Horatio Gates. The ensuing battle, the Battle of Freeman's Farm, or First Saratoga, was indecisive. But ominously, the British casualty rate was twice as high as that of the rebels. Instead of retreating to Canada like he should have, on October 7th, Burgoyne tried to break through again and this time was shellacked by forces led by Benedict Arnold at Bemis Heights. Burgoyne then retreated northward to present-day Schuylerville. There, he was surrounded by 17,000 rebels and forced to surrender on October 17, 1777. The two battles have taken the name Saratoga because it was the venue of surrender. Not only is Saratoga considered the military turning point of the revolution, its diplomatic consequences were even greater than its military value. This first major rebel battlefield victory convinced the French to recognize the fledgling American Republic and aid in the cause of independence. At the University of Richmond, I'm Dan Roberts.